OK, so for this one, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this one looks a little difficult, right? Because so far, we've been doing trinomials. You add an ax squared, a bx, and a c. It was very easy. You multiply a times c, you put b on the bottom, and you say, what two numbers multiply to give you them? Now, we're going to show you some tricks later today. All right? I'm going to show you tricks how to solve this. However, let's go back to what we just know. What is the only thing we know how to do? Put it in its quadratic form. Is this in quadratic form? No. Let's rewrite this as negative n squared plus 0n plus 49, right? Because remember, ax squared plus bx plus c. That is your quadratic form. So if I rewrite this in quadratic form, it's a negative n squared. My b is z my a is negative 1, my b is 0, and my c is 49. So therefore, when I do my kind of diamond problem, negative 1 times 49, which is my a times my c, is negative 49. My b is equal to 0. Question? Does everybody follow me? So make sure you guys put it in quadratic form. We'll learn the shortcut later. Now, what two numbers multiply to give you negative 49 but add to give you 0? Think about it. If they add to give you 0, they have to be exactly the same, yes? 7 and negative 7. So to write this as a product of two factors, we can say it's going to be n minus 7 and then n plus 7. Um, I'm sorry. Well, OK. So therefore, you guys can write it in there. But you look at that. That's not going to give you form. So you can negate that to write that. There you go. Okay. Cool. Just think about it. I'm sorry, that has to be plus when I factor it out. Seven. Just think about it. Do, do these two terms multiply to give you? Does seven times seven give you forty-nine? Yes. Does negative n times n give you negative n squared? Yeah. So if you factor multiply them out, you get the same answer. The other way to look at this, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to help. You guys can also factor out a negative 1 out of here um, to look at it to give you a um, different solution. But if you guys also factor out a negative 1, you get the same. Uh, if you guys factor out a negative 1, you would get negative. Um, if you factor out a negative 1, you get n squared plus 0n minus 49. So you could also factor out a negative 1, and then you could, do, and then you could use those factors, n plus 7 and n minus 7. Just we're going to learn the we're going to learn another trick though in a second on that